two cool dragoons in Alphado. I should have known it would be you. And voice acting. Very appreciated. Word reached me of a struggle with a small but well armed band of trespassers. Forgive my comrades their hostility. Few come here uninvited. And fewer still with good intent. I'm just amazed that you managed to see the purple smoke and this bloody blizzard that's going on right now. Hope Desmond's now, pomp doesn't blow away. Tell me why you are here. No problem. Desmond is a man of many words. He'll tell you. No, oh, I actually do get an option. Uh, yeah, we wish to stop Nidhod's attack on Ishgard. If you but knew the truth, the spark which lit the flames of this animosity, you would understand the futility of your quest. Shall I relate it to you? The sordid history my gift has shown me, that which the Holy See has taken such pains to suppress. Please do. Let me know your potentially tragic backstory. It was more than a millennium past when an Elizan tribe first sought to claim the lands of Kurthas as its home. Unfortunately for them, Kurthas was already home to dragonkind, and they were not inclined to make way for the invaders. Thus did a bloody war begin. A war which might well have rumbled on until one or the other side was exterminated, had it not been for the resolve of a single woman. That woman's name oh. was Shiva. Good thing, uh, <laughs> good thing we were able to skip that wee bit of dialogue. It was just that at the end. I do like how this dragon's just basically a big goat as well. That's pretty cool. So is this like a uh, donkey and the dragon from Shrek? Is this what's happening right now? I probably shouldn't make jokes. It's probably probably very very sensitive and sad. By the consumer. ultimately gave in to her plea, and soon thereafter the tale of their ill-fated love spread throughout the two warring factions. No more could they raise blade or claw against one another, knowing that the souls of their kin were so inextricably bound. So you're gonna join our side now that you've told the story? <laughs> he who now stands poised to unleash his wormlings upon Ishgard was the great dragon who lost an eye to Ella's and treachery. And until he prizes it from the hands of the traitor's progeny, no amount of conciliatory words will stay his fury. You are wrong, Lady Iceheart. Nice eye. Good gods. Yeah, did you not know he had the eye, Alphino? Until recently. Nidhogg seemed unable to resist its allure and pursued me relentlessly. Needless to say, that is no longer the case. Now, it would seem, he has fixed his attention on Ishgard itself, though he knows full well the eye does not reside there. This kind of remind me of like Sauron from Lord of the Rings. The all seeing eye. Okay, so we doesn't look like we can reason with him. Why do we not seek an audience with Hreisvelger instead? He has thus far shown no inclination to aid in the invasion of Ishgard, and may yet welcome our efforts to broker a peace. I'm sure that can be, uh, he can be reasoned with. If Iceheart turns into Shiva again, then surely he'd be more than happy. solution can be found very well I will take you to him oh no headache oh no heart attack it's even worse am I just gonna be uh, taunted again by the the crystals that don't work <laughs> or is it coming back to life hey I think it's coming back to life so is this essentially how Desmond gets his groove back? By activating all those crystals again? 
<laughs> they don't care. <laughs> oh, Desmond's having a heart attack. <laughs> and they're just like, I, I don't fucking care. I'm away. <laughs> Desmond's new groove. Hell yeah. Desmond 2 Electric Boogaloo. Right. Either that's a... Uh, <laughs> Yale or Sail. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah, Yazil. Yazil. They'll pronounce it soon enough. Okay. I'm gonna say it's Yazel. Look, guys, don't don't take the piss out of me because I I don't have a dra oh I do have a dragon I think, but I can't fly. I've just got my fucking chair. Beyond Abalathia's spine. What's he gonna say at the end? What's he gonna say at the end? From east to west. Into the deepening shadows of some. I've got my button ready. I'm ready. Lies the ancient home of dragon. To a land where the soil slithers and the sky seethes with sinuous shapes. They came. I'm curious to see what that is up there. Is that where uh, the dragon we're looking for is? Is that his house? There's a village here. I thought these lands were the sole domain to dragon coined. Why would anyone choose to live in such a perilous a place? Only the ceaseless, ceaseless chatter. If we're to meet these acquaintances of yours, let it, let us do it before Ishgard burns. I do like how I'm giving him the snake voice because someone suggested it and he literally sounds nothing like it. I can't believe Pinka and Saku have been trapped in a cage. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this would happen. The fuck? I generally thought there was like a claiming animation, like for clicking on that. He has returned. You know, I did say where's Cooler Estinian, and there he is. He's right there. He says the prison. <laughs> that, that right there, that right there, that, that needs to be a screen grab. Okay, what have you got? The Holy Rainbow Shirt Offending. Ooh. What's it look like? I look like fucking McGlovin from Superbad when he's wearing the, the brown waistcoat. Old enough to party. <laughs> Come here. Refreshing. You have a scholar's eye. Don't, don't, don't fucking praise the wee shit. Don't praise him. Doesn't his, his head's already big enough as is. Doesn't need any more praise. Hmm, you claim this is evidence of a harmonious past? I was taught these buildings were constructed by heretics in honor of your Dravanian masters. This rubble inspires no such awe in me. Stubborn fool. How desperate you cling to the false teachings of your beloved Holy See. Desmond, pray easy. Don't, don't fucking tell me what to do, Alpha. No, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> Even Desmond has lost patience with you. We have a common goal, lest you forget. To prevent a war which claims countless lives on both sides. If you're to accomplish this, you must learn to tolerate each other's presence. Trust in Desmond's gift. In time, the secrets of history will be brought to light. Let that be enough, Estinian. You would have me keep my console until Desmond's visions confirm the truth? Very well, but bait me not. Our meter erase vulgar will likely provide the catalyst Desmond's gift requires as it did mine. Let's press on. You know, when she said, I'm going to call this one, I thought it would be, you know, a bit more involved, rather than her literally just going there and being like, Oh! <laughs> Get your ass in here! Ah, tis thee, little one. I was not for expecting that voice as well. I, did thee for I would end this war without further bloodshed. How am I to relieve thee, little one? When thine own companion beareth Stolen eye. Uh oh, Estenia, uh, maybe you should have hung back, Kuiva. Have care, dragon, or I shall gouge out one of yours. Fucking Estenian diplomacy level twenty, man. Jesus Christ. You forget yourself, sir. We are here on a mission of diplomacy peace. level hundred, man. Jesus Christ. 
we must be allowed to convey our intentions to Resvalgar in person, with words of our own choosing. Grant us this favor, and open the way to Som Al. But I cannot grant thy wish. I am bound to remain here and protect my kin from the Nath's god. Oh no. Is this, is this a primal? Is, it might be a primal. The Nath have summoned a primal. You never. Uh, you're never two feet away from a primal, as they say. Forever. Oh Lord Ravana, master of the sacred blades, wrath of the colony, conqueror of the world, hear our prayer. You know what? That's not the voice I expect these guys to actually have. I thought they would have like a more pure Oh Lord Ravana. <laughs> like actual like you know, insecty monstery voices. Realize it was four swords. Is this four swords adventure? Oh, is he gonna be like a big crab with four arms and swords in each? Is it General Grievous? Oh my god, that is General Grievous. Holy shit. The <laughs> This man is the god. <laughs> General Kenobi! Strength to the colony. Ravana. Speak and I shall listen. Oh, glorious general. Yes, general! He has a general as well! <laughs> oh my god, it rates itself, man. I do. And I believe the first bout is mine. Oh no, is she gonna try and solo him? And she's gonna get absolutely slapped. Probably men we might level to enjoy it so far, yeah. I mean, yeah, I should swap back to tank. So she gave us a fight the last time, so let's see if she's just she's absolutely slapped. Let's see if this meme holds true in this regard. What is this? A god clad in flesh. Is all to miss, my lord. Thou wilt not break thy word, I trust. Mine oath is unbending as steel, little goddess. Thy wounds will but add to my enjoyment. She's got him frozen. He's a sitting duck. How are you going to mess this up? Maybe attack him while he's frozen. No, okay. Yeah, he should have did that while he was frozen. He 
Yep. That's pretty much how I've seen it going. <laughs> He's like, ah, fuck your ass. He does nothing. She was a paladin there. I did think that when she brought out the shield and that. I thought, oh my god, she a paladin? Yep, continuing the meme of the boss when you fight it. Absolute threat. The boss when it joins your party. Pathetic. I feel bad she tries with such confidence. She does. I mean, she does obviously have the power of like a god in her, her primal. So, I mean, you would think that, oh yeah, I got this. I got this. I'm a, I'm a god. I'm a primal. Fuck assed fuck. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce that. Into. Right, let's see what he's got. Oh, he told us to dance. He literally told us to dance and everything. You know what? I'm going to put arm's length on since he keeps like knocking me back. It's funny how, like, just earlier we were talking about the hive mines becoming... Oh, that's so he can knock you off. Okay. I was wondering when was that going to play into it. Bloody fooler. Whoa, we're flying. We're breaking free. We're soaring. We're flying. And he's doing stuff. Okay, this must be the bit you were talking about. Okay, I need, I need to get to a wall before he fucking knocks me off. <laughs> Pillars of Heaven. Is that the center from Ramstein? Yeah, I tried taunting him there, but it seems like he's just going to focus on someone. Okay, now the fight's getting interesting. Yeah, sorry, Lilas, I can't really... Oh, wait, you're the other tank, that's why. I was wondering that, I thought you were like a DPS or something. Even with minimum main level, still, still uh, killed him pretty quickly. Yeah, it's a pretty simple fight. It started getting more interesting towards the end. Obviously, with the music and the mechanics. I'm sure that would have been... Uh, Back in the day, would have been a lot more uh, entertaining. Is that Lahabred? Is he back? Oh, of light. this is a new one. But with every mortal heart that succumbs to fear and fury, another voice is I got him. That is Prince. Sucker. <laughs> is that I? I go. I got him. He got him. Lord Ravana, you say? How curious that the Vav never mentioned his name. Are you quite certain he'll keep his word? There was honour beneath his savagery. Yeah, Estenian. You can learn a thing or two. I must attribute it to Desmond. Damn right you should. <clears throat> never did I doubt you, Warrior of Light. Unlike some. You were gone so long that Master Alphano would now lost his wits with worry. Fretting like a maid. <laughs> Fretting like a maid for her sweetheart, he was. Ah, yeah. Absolute throwing shade at Alphano. Line up, soldiers. I want an RGB burped. I wouldn't mind one of those. He'd be now children of man. The domain you seek to enter have not seen visitors of your kind in nigh on a thousand years. Well, they're gonna get a wee surprise when we show up, isn't it? Especially, uh, <laughs> a stinging with the eye of the dog. The way is open. Let us not tarry here. A moment. Shall we blindly forge on, knowing the dragon, uh, the dangers await us? Teoman herself said to guard this peak. I do not fear Nidhogg's concert. Any f dragon foolish enough to bar our path shall feel the stain of my lands. Spoken like a true butcher. Need I remind you we come to parley a peace? 
Diplomacy level 100, Estinian. Let us be clear, heretic. T'was to save Ishgar and our people that I first laid my support to this doubtful venture. And tis for their sake that I go now to speak with Resvergar. But I said nothing of Tioman. Should the opportunity prevent itself to rid my people of one of our deadliest enemies, I shall take it. That is my duty as an Azure Dragoon. You are beyond redemption. We will accomplish nothing by bickering. If we are to meet with Race Vulgar, our path leads up the mountain. We shall defend ourselves if attacked, but avoid conflict whenever possible. What a choice do we have? <laughs> it's always the same convo every time. It's Estenian and uh, Isola, like, just always fighting. Some owl is now accessible. Okay. Oh, plant's farting, man. The only person who's letting us down without glasses is uh, McManor. I'm noticing a distinct lack of glasses on your character. Everyone else has got them. It's just me and my boy, Cooler Stinian, fighting some plant monsters. You love to see it. Uh, CE. I'll let you do the limit break. I want to see you do the limit break. I want to see Cooler Stinian do the limit break. There he goes. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, baby. Oh, one hat. One hat. That's all that was needed. Team B for the win. Hey. We're too busy talking about Pokemon, okay? And the fact that I don't even remember. Who, who are you two? Oh, all threes. I can't even believe they just took your spots. They were like, oh, we did the job. Like, no, we didn't. You guys going to take that? Are you going to take that CE? This absolute fraud? Terrible. I know, you do tell him. Probably doesn't have a pair of sunglasses like you do. To the peak of some arm. At the end of a perilous You know what's about to happen. You know what's coming. Whence could be seen a string of pearl-like islands floating in possibly atop a sea of clouds. It's literally Xenoblade 2, the cloud sea. To a domain where dragons and men had once lived in harmony. Whose majesty no mortal eye had glimpsed for nigh on a thousand years. They came. Got wood? that ground texture. Mm -mm -mm. Would you believe I have a 3060? <laughs> you wouldn't believe I've got a 3060 graphics card. But those ground textures. Beautiful. Oh, Desmond's got the glasses off. That's when you know it's serious time. There's just more soup. A few things to compare to the simple pleasure of sitting beside a crackling campfire of one's own making. <laughs> so speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognized firewood if it came with a kidlin and a flint. Tis well you instructed me so patiently then. But yes, left to my own devices, I would have been compelled to signal to Yazeo with a pile of damp leaves. What does that even mean? I was born the pampered son of a Charlian dignitary, and alongside my twin, who the, where is she? Where is the, where's the better twin? Became the youngest student ever to be accepted into the studium. How proud I was to match wits with scholars and philosophers. How ignorant of my own shortcomings. That Hubers invent, invited manipulation betrayal and led to the downfall of the Scions. I agree. We of all of us are guilty of some sign or uh, ignorance. How many men laid down their lives not knowing what it is they fight for? Never questioning that which if never question that which they have taught to believe. If this journey has taught me anything, it's the importance of and difficulty of holding one's convictions in the face of failure. Of striving to always replace one's ignorance with knowledge. You're on your well on your way, Master Alphano. At your age, I was but a fool swinging the spear, scarcely a thought in my head. What's changed? 
Estenian. What has changed? Now I'm an older, edgy boy and I still do the same. Sitting here amongst these grand ruins, how can I deny that man and dragon once lived in peace? Oh, he's, he's going for an arc. He's starting to think, hmm, maybe I shouldn't fight the dragons. Maybe, I don't know. But for all that such age existed, we're now in a time of war. Nidhogg killed my family, and no quirk of history will exonerate him. Yeah, it's always still going to have that grape of them. I may be ignorant of how Dragon Sun War began, but if we do not put an end to this conflict now, I can say for certain that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine. Oh, the edge. Ow. In my hands resides the power to vanquish a great worm. If Ishgard's survival rests on me wielding that power, I will slay Nidhogg myself. Orders are no. <laughs> Estenian, you gave your word. My word is contingent upon the success of our parley. Yeah, I mean, I think he did. I think he did say that if Ned, uh, the opportunity to slay Nidhogg presents itself, he would still do it. So, yeah. Well, wind's willing, we shall have our answers on the morrow. Let us sleep now and face our fate with the rising of the sun. <laughs> it's that face, man, pure. Anytime Alphano looks up, he always looks weird. <laughs> I, I've only ever cried at a game once, like, as I was playing it. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, twice. Yeah, there's only been two games that have actually, eh. Uh, okay, one one of them's a joke answer. I was going to say one of the games that's made me cry was the ending of Mass Effect 3 when they fucking ruined the end and they fucked it. They ruined the ending of the game. Fuck's sake. <laughs> but no, obviously, that's a joke answer. Uh, yeah, the only game that's actually made me cry as I played it, like as I finished it, was Xenoblade 3, funny enough. With other games, it's like I, I'll i feel like the emotions as I'm playing it, but I won't cry or anything like that. But it's when I go back and re-watch the ending of like games and that, then I actually do get the emotion. But Xenoblade 3 is the only one so far that's actually made me cry as I played it. Who knows? Maybe this game will change that. Maybe this will be game number two. We're only here to chat. Don't worry. Quick, uh, turn into Shiva. Oh, good voice acting's back. Turn into Shiva and then he won't attack us. Me, I understand dragon. Do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. Right, so either he's going to get really mad when she turns into Shiva because he's going to be like that. How dare you become her form or something? I get the vibe. Self as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. I have surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn. So is he saying this is not the real Shiva? Just 
just noticed he's missing an eye as well, like any dog. Then the spirit that answered me. So he's saying it's not actually Shiva. Jesus Christ, she's having an existential crisis now. Be that as it may, Lord Kreisfelger, Giselle's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. Well, the uh, plan of uh, having Shiva be here and uh, make him join the cause is... Uh, Kind of backfired. God, what is it with the uh, <laughs> the Elizans always ripping out the dragon's eyes? Oh, bloody banquet! <laughs> they had their own bloody banquet. <laughs> of winning the Dragon Song War, for it is no war at all, but vengeance, an eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. Yeah, I was going to say, she didn't really uh, succeed in uh, convincing him that she was Shiva, so I don't think Nidhogg, of all peoples, or all people, all dragons, is going to be convinced. And there he goes. I'm sure that's not the last we've seen of him. we do now. I for one am intent on continuing to the east. He's just like that. Right, well that didn't go well, right? I'm gonna go kill Nidhogg. See you after. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg's lair, the airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word, and aided you in this fool's errand with Hraisvulga. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, lady. I would but pierce its vengeful heart. He did say it's no longer a war, it's just vengeance. This war shall die with him. Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. I should be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed, everything I thought I was, gone, all gone. Yeah, she's having a bit of an existential crisis, being told she's not actually the reincarnation of Shiva, and obviously the lies of hearing about the ancestors. You mentioned you were an Azure Dragon, yeah. Definitely uh, noticing the bits where it's like, okay, this is definitely because I leveled the dragon up to level 50. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith. <sighs> Stenian, you're so edgy. Oh, this is the thing that I pointed out earlier. I was like, oh, that looks ominous. Oh, that's why you guys were like that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is Nidhogg actually in that? 
once barred our entrance to the primal Yeah, I was just about to say, where's uh, Sid with the Enterprise? Can we just fly for it? <laughs> Loves showing off his teeth. Oh, we actually are. We may need to get my corrupted crystal though to get through it. Another wind barrier, and you say it was conjured by Nidog? The Enterprise can certainly take you where you need to go, but she would not fare well against dragons. She's agile for a ship her size, but not that agile. Gervanius would fly rings around her. And if they took it to their hands to incinerate the rigging, there would be precious little we could do to avoid them. But there must be something we can do. Some manner of weapon we could employ. Estinian sends vigil at the edge of the churning mists. We do not know how much longer. Alright, I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was impossible for the Enterprise. We need a smaller boat. Biggs, Wedge, it's time we give that new toy of yours a proper field test. I feel like I've seen this before. Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. I feel like either this is like this ship's a reference to something in another Final Fantasy game, or it's because of the trailer for this expansion, Heavensward. I've seen this flying around. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on her. What's up? <laughs> she got a stomachache. He was like that, ah, holding his stomach. <laughs> crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. All in all, a most elegant solution. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> Said is fucking fuming. Energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind aspected ether. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. The new Ishgardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering, meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off, if you'll forgive the fun. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Sid. I love me some puns. There she is. I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about her grace, the Sultana. The General Rabban says they may have uncovered the Sultana's whereabouts. And he wants you, or which I mean both of you, to go to the Waking Sands right away and help with the investigation. Come on. Oh, that's, that's helpful. <laughs> Come, Desmond. Pressing through Ishgard's plight may be our presence here will not serve to hasten the mana cutters of completion. Let's return to the troubled lands of Fanalin and lend what aid we may. I keep thinking Tatoo is going to be sitting there, but obviously she's not. But obviously this hasn't changed. Not one damn bit. Oh shit. Mayhap it would be better coming from me. What do you want? Twas plain that Teleji's wild machinations had outgrown our ability to control them. So I decided to usurp his scheme and left the fool to seal his own demise. Ah, Ilbert. <laughs> I secured his services with a promise to support his cause once my authority had been solidified. I swear, the man thinks of naught but prizing Alamigo from the grasp of the Empire. 
The hells we will! Yeah. Do you honestly expect me to forgive and forget? After all you've done, you're guilty of high treason! Dude, he got his arm cut off. Of course he's not going to be pals with you. Stay your blade, Master Alden. You yourself are not innocent. Or have you forgotten your own crime in executing Teleggi Adeleggi without trial? You know what? I think we can skip that one. I think Rabon's in the clear for that one. Though you acted out of loyalty to the Sultana, such deeds are in violation of both the word and spirit of the law. This potion will wake the Sultana from her slumber. Consider it a gesture of conciliation. You will find her grace resting comfortably within her private chambers. Should you doubt my word, I shall willingly accompany you to the palace as your hostage. I still don't trust him at all. He's also got something planned, something in mind. This is all further in his benefit. Rabon, she'll be in our bed, not on the table. You know, I thought she was going to be hidden a wee bit better than this rather than just, she's in her room. Well, let's hope this uh, magic drink wakes her up. She's alive. God, she's going to be like that. What the hell happened when she sees Rabon's arm? I was having the longest dream. Tis time to wake up, your grace. Another day begins in Thunderland, and the sun blazes bright upon the sands. Finally, some good news is happening in this game. is awoken. The palace physician assures me she is none the worse for her slumber. Imagine it just poisoned her worse. <laughs> I wasn't, I was refraining from making jokes during that moment because it was very sweet. I believe her grace will... Let us resume this It was just praising me, it's all good. That we might come together to shine the light of dawn across the realm once more. Oh, we're actually going to try and find everyone? The rest of the scions? Crystal brave commander suited me ill, and I shall play it no longer. Henceforth, I shall be no more or less than Alfino, proud member of the Scions. Go and show Stenny. Hey. <laughs> There's something so goofy about Stenny and flying one of these things. He looks very out of place. Is that new dog? I think it is. Oh no! <laughs> was that? I thought that was a direct hit on this. <laughs> it's like, wow, my journey already came to an end. I was like, don't hit me unless you want your eye hit. Either that, he threatened to drop it. He's like, I'll do it! I'll do it! I'm gonna drop it! There's a ton of upgrades waiting for you. <laughs> It sounds like me trying to clear my throat. Urgh. 
Man, it's a good thing I had plot armor there. Otherwise, I would have just got one shotted and exploded into a million bits. I hope Sid put in the landing gear. It's going to be very awkward if I have to crash it. Alright, biggin. What was all that about trying to kill me two seconds ago? So would this be about where Astinian would get involved with you? Or would he just be running around with you from the get-go? Use my own eye against me? Well, yes, actually. Don't ask why, I thought Astinian was going to have a gun. I, I don't know why. Can you two just kiss and make up already? <laughs> Holy shit, we're seeing a stunning do cool things. And Desmond's just standing in the background like, oh, okay. <laughs> See? Desmond's like, he's so fucking cool. Oof. I seen the eyes there, man. That was a crazy man's eyes. And he did say his armor was going to end up crimson by the end of this. Just exploded. Just exploded. It looks like he's added a uh, red dye. Oh, he's got, an he's got another eye. He's got both eyes now. Finally, I have both sets. That means uh, more than one thing. Not only darkness, because he's technically killed him, but also the fact that now he's getting the eyes, so he's always going to be looking at darkness. Oh, is this for me? I mean, I kind of wanted the red one, but I'll take it. <laughs> Desmond's like, the fuck am I going to do with this? Another question lies buried. I guess it's a new decoration for uh, the apartment that I don't have yet. Don't get picky on which eye you get, but I want to be picky. I want the red one. Red one's cool. Lord Commander. I also just noticed he's missing a horn. I literally just noticed that there. Don't know if you guys noticed it. What? In the city? A battle with whom? I kind of wish the photos for the quest didn't spoil it that much. I already knew there was going to be some shenanigans going on. At once, Lord Commander. Hold firm till I return. Fighting has broken out in the city. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars, but it seems some commoners threw open the gates to a force of heretics. Ace Hart. I gave no order to attack. Are we to mark the end of the Dragon Song War by spilling the blood of our own? Mayhap Praisvogel was right about us. Now <laughs> Bria jumps again. Hey, look at this! It's my boy! That's the photo I used in one of my posts. The Hashi Font fan club is here, boys. Fine's just <laughs> looks like Fine's just picked up a gear, eh? Oh, there's a church in a Final Fantasy. I know who the bad guy is. She is calm. 
<laughs> like, fuck it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Azure Dragon 2. I, I'm an Azure Dragon 2. <laughs> Feeling pretty left out right now. <laughs> Go on, Estinian, show him the eye. I know you want to, you're just itching to break it out. The endless cycle of violence between man and dragon was born of our forefathers' treachery. You have followed me bled with me to bring this truth to light that we might all know peace. Oh yeah, you're right, it was a Stinian who was demoted to mere adventure, of course. Of course. I, I, I honestly thought they were talking about Desmond there, but clearly they weren't. They were clearly talking about a Stinian being the mere adventurer. Of course, the real Azure Dragon is me, obviously. But Nidhogg is dead. Nidhogg is dead, my friends. He who bore such hatred towards Ishgard is dead! Let his hatred die with him, I say! Let us sheathe our swords and go in peace! Why do I get the feeling that they're gonna say nah to this? Have we lost? No, my friend. Far from it. At long last, the peace for which we have so desperately fought is within our grasp. And I, for one, would not forsake it. Peace? Heretics are standing down, maybe? But you know for a fact those uh, other temple guards are going to come in and just, like, ruin everything. He's like, God damn, I want to fight. Nah. Seize the witch. Let none escape. Yeah, this is uh, wrapping up a bit too clean. No chance. Providing aid and succor to the wounded should be our first concern. You tell him, Harshy Font. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same. That was rather too close for comfort. It would seem that the calms return to the streets. My mind, however, yet clams of a thousand questions. You return to Ishgard and the oddest to company, my friend. I know. Cooler stinging in the background, obviously. Yeah, you just go with that. 